Hi, my name is Genevieve Sulvey. I'm an associate professor in the chemistry department at Case Western Reserve University. My research focuses on developing and studying conjugated materials for organic electronic applications. We're particularly interested in developing molecules for bulk junction solar cells. In bulk junction organic solar cells, the light harvesting is done by a blend of an electron donor and an electron acceptor. The way it works is that one material, for example the donor, absorbs light and creates an exciton. These excitons can diffuse to an interface where it can be separated into first a charge transfer state and then into free charges. And then the charges have to find their way to the electrodes and then be collected as current. Light absorption can also happen uh, in the acceptor material and the same process will occur. In fact, the best efficiencies for organic solar cells would be obtained when both the donor and the acceptor absorb the light. The morphology of this bulk junction is critical to obtain high power conversion efficiency. P3HT and PCBM are the most studied donor and acceptor for organic solar cells and they give you an efficiency of about 4%. Over the past 15 years or so, uh, much work was done to optimize the polymer donor, and, and which has reached efficiencies of about 10%. Basically, all the donors are paired with fullerene acceptors. But fullerene acceptors uh, do not absorb much of the visible light, and so they don't contribute much to light harvesting. Recently, uh, researchers have shifted efforts toward developing new non-fullerene acceptors that can absorb more light. Until about 2011, efficiencies were plateaued at around 2%. But in the recent years, with more research on the subject, efficiencies have been climbing all the way to about 8% now. In this perspective, we focus on some of the design principles for developing molecular acceptors for bulk junction organic solar cells. What should be the properties of that molecule in order to obtain 20% efficiency? We argue in this perspective that the molecular acceptor should also have a large non-planar conjugated structure. We show several examples in this perspective, including our own work on acceptors based on azadipromethane dyes. Azadipromethane dyes are blue and somewhat planar molecules with high electron affinity and are very good candidates for acceptors. However, when you blend these molecules with P3HT, they form large domains and the power conversion efficiency is only 0%. If we form zinc complexes with two azadipromethanes, we break the planarity and make it harder to self-aggregate. In blends with P3HT, we see smaller domain size but still some, some large aggregates and power conversion efficiencies increase to 1%. If we add additional conjugated arms to make it even more three-dimensional, it stays amorphous and blends and power conversion efficiencies increases to 3 or 4%. These dimers of azadipromethanes are synthesized in our laboratory under inert conditions and they're highly conjugated molecules with strong absorption and the visible to the IR between 600 and 800 nanometers. Work by other researchers in the fields have reported high efficiencies for other large non-planar molecules, such as dimers of pyrrolene diamides, or more recently, dimers of tetraazabenzodifluoroanthine diamides. We also argue in this perspective that the molecular acceptor should also have high dielectric constant in order to overcome some of the limitations of current materials and enable the next generation of organic solar cells. <laughs>